Hey, Divine Savior Church family, Pastor Kevin here. I want to take a brief moment just to talk with you here today. I'm standing in my living room, which has been serving as our worship space for a while now. And you have been worshiping in, in your living room, your, your kitchen, your office, uh, wherever you found to connect with us online. And there's been some tremendous blessings that have come out of that. And yet we are so excited to once again offer in-person worship starting this Sunday, September 13th. What a blessing and a privilege it'll be for those of us who are able to gather together to encourage one another. And I know that not everyone is yet comfortable or able to do that in person. And so we're going to continue to offer our online worship. That'll be there as well. And we hope that you can join with us there as well and engage with God's word through that platform. What a blessing that has been for us and will continue to be for us. I want to assure you that our leadership has thought long and hard about these decisions and about the policies that we're putting in place as we return to worship. And I know that for some of us, those policies, the requests, the requirements that we're making are going to go too far. And then for others personally, they're going to go not far enough. It's a delicate thing. It's a tricky thing as we strive to, to create a balance. But what a blessing that we know that we are brothers and sisters in Christ. And so I want to share some of God's word with you today from Ephesians chapter 4 where we're encouraged, be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love, make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. What a tremendous blessing for us to know that we have one God and Father, and that he continues to work in and among us and through us. That's why we are so excited to begin worshiping again in person so that we can encourage one another and strengthen one another, fortify that bond of peace that we have in our Savior Jesus. And we can do that as we're gathering together both online and in person. And so I'd ask you to show that humbleness, that gentleness, and that patience and to make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through that bond of peace. I do want to share with you today just some of the things that we are asking of those who join with us in person and highlight what is going to be shared with you. There's a PDF document that will be shared with you. There's links available that is going to take you to all of this information, but i just like to highlight some of it. So for those who are joining in worship, much of our same practices that we've had in the past as we went back to worship are still going to be there in place. We are asking that everyone who would come to worship wear a mask so that we can protect one another that way, especially since we can spread this virus and disease even if we are asymptomatic, we're not showing any signs of it. We certainly ask that anyone who is showing signs of COVID-19, coughing, uh, shortness of breath, fever, those types of things, that you refrain from worship. Worship with us online for the time being. Uh, take the time to, to make sure that you don't have it or aren't going to be sharing it with others. Uh, certainly those who are in uh, weakened states or more vulnerable states, we'd ask you to also worship from home. As you come into worship, we're going to ask that those masks remain on throughout our service. Everyone will be wearing those masks except for our song leaders and myself as I'm leading worship or anyone else who's leading worship. We also are going to ask that we would refrain from congregational singing, or that you sing very, very lightly to yourself. This is because it's been shown that both speaking and then even more so singing increases the chance of spreading the virus to others. And while that may be difficult for us, we will continue to have our soloists leading songs so that we can participate in worship that way as well. Communion will be offered in our services in a way that will mitigate as many of the risks as we possibly can. But for those who aren't yet comfortable worshiping with us in person, if you desire private communion or personal communion, please reach out to me. I would be happy to set up a time to do that with you. We also are asking that everyone who would come to worship would register beforehand so that we are aware of the numbers that we have 
as well as if there would be any need uh, to go back and see who was in attendance. We'll also be asking you to fill out that connection card, the online connection card, when you are with us in worship. Links will be made available each and every week so that you can register for worship. Thank you for doing that. We're so excited for this opportunity to be back together, not because we're coming to a building, not because we're coming to a place, but because we're joining together with one another around something special, the Word of God and the promises of our God and the good news of a Savior who has taken away all sins and will take away all sicknesses and all diseases. Thank you very much for your continued support of our ministry. And finally, that's the last thing that I'd like to ask of all of you, whether you're worshiping in person or online, engage with our worship, engage with our ministry. Find ways to serve. Continue to support our ministry financially. Pray for one another. Encourage one another through the chat, through reaching out, so that we can continue to move forward in ministry in spite of COVID-19, so that we can continue to change lives with Jesus as we worship, connect, and serve. God's blessings to each of you. Thank you for your time.